Hello guys and welcome to another edition of Rage Against the Dice. As you can see today, we're looking at Bot War Starter Set. Now it's up for pre-order. Now I'm going to talk a little bit first about what Bot War is. So as you can see here, Traders Galaxy is the website in question where you're able to purchase the models for this game. Now this game is just soaked in 80s nostalgia. It's fantastic. Um, the game itself is actually set in the year of 1985. There's Ghost Dryer. But yes, yeah, so the game itself is set in the year of 1985. And you've got giant bots fighting giant other bots. You have humans, um, of which are split into two factions. So you have kind of the evil side. And then you have the good-ish, I guess. And then you have the Atlanteans that come up um, from Atlantis and then start taking over sort of the world above as it were and then you've got other factions as well and we are going to look at those in more detail but <clears throat> this is the first starter set you can buy the models separately and this is the second incarnation of the game the first one was based more so heavily on a genuine property that exists again we're not going to mention it for copyright reasons but as we're looking through the models it's going to be clear to yourself which ones they are um, with regards to the starter set you actually get enough to play the game. You get two factions with it, one of which are the Valiants and the other are the Atlanteans. So we're going to look at the models and things like that in a lot more detail. And if you are interested in the game itself, as always, I will put the links to the website, the Facebook group and those kind of things in the description below. So what we're going to very quickly do is see that these are the character cards. Now you get the character cards um, on the website for free as things stand. Um, and these are some of the different sort of factions you can play as. So there's the overlords, which are aliens. There's the trashers, which are like junk robots that build um, themselves up from other parts and things like that. Then, as I said, you have the Atlanteans or the Atlanticans. And then you have the deceivers that are the bad guy robots. You have the democracy, which is kind of us, the humans. Um, then you have the infestors, which are deceivers that have gone even worse. And then you have snake corpse, which are kind of the evil humans. <coughs> oh, pardon me. And then valiants. And the valiants are kind of, um, yeah, the good guy-ish robots. Um, they seem good at this stage anyway. And as I said, you can download all the cards for free. So I will put the link to this particular post in the description so you can check it out now as you can see here the box set comes in at 160 US dollars but what I would do as you can see up here is it's free shipping worldwide when you spend over 200 so you may as well throw in like 40 extra dollars worth of models because I'd rather be paying that than paying it on shipping to be honest but yeah so if you're in the UK that works out at, as you can see here on XE.com, it works out at about 90, just under 90 pound. And if you're one of the Americans, is um, you would be looking at around about 112, 113 dollars ish. And then for our little friends in Europe, if you were looking at euros, you'd be looking at nearly 100 euros. Um, so it's not expensive for what you get, especially because it's a small company that are just making their way. And as you know, and as anybody who watches our channel knows, that's kind of the thing we get behind. We, we love that indie developer who's pulling out all the cool little things. So before we look at the pretty models, because the models are really, really pretty, we're going to look at the contents of the box itself. So you get five Metal Bot Wars Valiant Miniatures, which is General Duke. Angel, Wolf, Topstar, and Aegis. And then you get six Metal Bot War Atlantican miniatures, which is Stingray, Moray, Aegon, Nami, Thermal, and Nebulous. And we're going to look at those models, as I said, and we're going to look at some of the renders of them and things like that. I've probably butchered some of those names. Fair play, that is how I do. You get one tape measure with it, and the tape measure itself is pretty cool. It's even branded. You get one printed second edition rulebook, which is awesome because at the minute I just have the PDF version and you can buy the PDF version I think it's about 10 Australian dollars which is next to nothing um, you know for that amount what you're going to get with it a Starbucks maybe you might as well just buy the rule book and have a check out you get 11 printed stack cards which are the stack cards for the models you get 5 purple attack dice 
five red shield dice and four black critical dice and then one regular d6 and then you get 50 little energy cubes and the energy cubes are cool um, and they play a big part in the game because you distribute those out to your models and you use them to do things. One thing I would say is if I had a negative criticism of the first, the, the rule book, the iteration that I have, there's no conversion chart for the dice, so you have to buy the dice that um, Trades Galaxy sell, which is cool. The dice are fantastic, and they do come in a set with energy energon cubes or energy cubes, and it is a decently priced set. But for myself, if I have a hundred pound to say, and I'm gonna either spend it on models or dice, I'm gonna where possible get models. So like with Malifaux in the rule book, they give you the conversion chart for the cards. Um, it would be cool to have that in this rule book. However, as I said, it is a minor criticism. The dice themselves are pretty cool and we are moving into a realm where more and more games are starting using their own specialist dice. So let's have a look first at the pictures on the site and then we're going to look at the Facebook post where they're in more detail. So this is kind of the box art with a little pre-order sign there and as I said, it pre-orders in August. And um, this is the back of the box, and that is General Duke. Um, I believe that's the General Duke variation, anyway. I would assume so it comes in this box. <laughs> and there's some cool little playthroughs. And if you join the Facebook group, you'll see a lot more um, action sequences and things like that. So these are the models that you get within it, as you can see here. These guys are the Atlanticans, and they're really, really cool. And then you get these guys, which are your more traditional 80s robot types, um, with General Duke leading. Now, this guy here is my favorite. He, he kind of reminds me of the computer game Splinter Cell, um, but as a robot, which is awesome. Um, and here they are in a bit more detail. And the paintwork is fantastic. Um, so whoever painted these, you know, good job. They, they really, really are gorgeous. Hey, where have you gone? Come back. What have I done? I've broke it now. Oh, so these are all the different models separately. And again, yeah, there's my favourite one. He, he's absolutely fantastic. I really, really love that model. It's Duke. And then we go across, and here's some of the Atlanticans. And I really like the design of this, these Atlantican bots. I'm not a big fan of these ones, but again, it's personal preference. They're nice models. They just, I don't, I'm not a big fan of their aesthetic. So what we're going to do now is we're going to bounce over to the Facebook group. And here's a much bigger, larger extended post. So this is the box you get. So it's a really nice quality box. And you know me, I'm weird about card stock and things like that. If it's got a good quality box, I'm happy because I can put it on my shelf. <laughs> if not, the models go in a case and the box gets scrapped. And then I'm a bit sad. <laughs> And again, the artwork itself on the box. Um, I think this is just the prototype variation of it because it's been up. Um, well, this one went up on the 2nd of July, but I think these are some of the same pictures that had been used previously. And here's the models. And again, the paintwork is beautiful on them. Um, and I'm really interested to see some of you know our guys, our communities. I know there's a few of you that are interested in this game. I'd really love to see what you guys are going to do with it. It's 10 mil scale. Um, I believe it's 10 mil anyway. Hmm. I think it's 10 mil scale anyway. In fact, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, it's 8 mil scale. It even says there, 8 mil scale. Just ignore me. You can physically read it in the header of this video. <laughs> But yeah, so there's the tape measure itself, and as I said, I, I quite like it. Again, it's the same as like the well, Hulk War Games ones. They've got a branded tape measure, and I was a big fan of those. And these are the custom dice. And that's the little set of the custom dice that you get. And again, this is the same set that you get if you buy the accessory pack. Um, so you're not missing out by buying the starter set itself. Now, the starter set itself, if you pre-order it this month, comes with a free miniature, and it's this miniature. Is it this miniature? Yes, it is. It's this miniature here. It's really, really cool. And this is, of course, the renderings of it. I'm not sure if it's been made yet, that particular model. I've seen a lot of the other stuff go up, um, but I've not seen anything on that. So, as I said, I'm not going to cover it in as much detail this time, because I'm going to do a lot more videos on it. We're going to have a look at some of the models. 
um, we're going to go in depth into the law and things like that because if you join the Facebook group you'll see that a load of law has been popping up and of course the rule book itself covers some so I just want to give you guys a little introduction as I said definitely if you like the look of this and you you know like me an 80s kid and you've got that nostalgia thing going on you like 8 millimeter scale definitely check it out if you've got a spare 10 you know US dollars which works out about five or six pound UK pick up a copy of the PDF rule book you go onto the website which will be linked below go to shop and you go to games rules and accessories and then you can see it 10 US dollars for the PDF variation you can download it like three times and um, do what I did and I've put it up on my Dropbox I'm um, not for other people to download of course but just it means I can get it onto my other devices and things like that but as you can see here Bot War is an 8mm scale skirmish game set in the mid 80s humans, mermen, monsters, aliens and bot factions battle it out for supremacy of earth now in the next video we do we're going to look at the different factions and the models that already exist and talking about what we've seen so far because like the infestors have got nothing on the website at the minute I believe um, very quickly yeah but we've seen a lot of the renders and things like that going up on the site so there's a lot of really nice stuff going on check out the links below join the Facebook group and definitely check it out guys so I'm gonna leave it at that do all the general social media stuff you know like subscribe leave your comments in that little comment section below let me know if this is a game that might interest yourself you know share some of that 80s nostalgia with me what was your favorite cartoon and um, what was your favorite toy um, you know did you get into all the different crazes um, were you like me and I was on the playground hustling I'll swap you this transforming robot type thing I have for your transforming based robot thing that you have always hustling trying to get those good toys um, but yeah thank you very much for watching guys pray the dice guys and hope a smile upon you take care